Before anyone thinks I'm a unbiased journalist, <laughs> this is actually yeah, yeah, Jersey. this is actually your old coach's uh, jacket. Fabian. Fabian. That's why it's like five sizes oh. too big for me. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. I got it from like a charity match he oh, did okay. with um, he did with Bikini Body. Right. He yelled at us more for a charity match than he yelled at you guys at SI. Anyway, it's the big legends, the one that unfortunately got so close yet so far in SI, but of course, I mean, you still have plenty of achievements under your belts. And now it's time for Cyber Series. Do you feel like you had enough time to recharge after the huge stress that probably was SI 2024? Actually, it was not a stressful at all. I think we had um, a great time together. Uh, right, Benja? Yeah. We had a great time together. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't come with the, the hammer because uh, we got smashed. But uh, yeah, I'm sure we're going to come back uh, stronger for this year. Okay, before we go any further, one, two, three, four. Where's, where's Virtue? So Virtue lost his flight because he overslept. And now he's in Africa. He's actually in Africa trying to get here. So yeah, he's like, yeah, he's going to be here maybe today. I don't know. Okay, so obviously, thankfully, you're not playing today. So you don't have to, you know, play with just four people or anything. But how does it kind of then impact your ability to prepare to scrim without someone like uh, Virtue physically here? So what kind of preparation can you do and what kind of progression have you been doing since SI for this event? I mean, we've been practicing every day since uh, SI was finished because we we have to bring this trophy back home. And uh, But right now we cannot practice because our teammate left us here. Uh, a great irresponsibility by him, but uh, nothing we can do right now. So we're just going to enjoy in the pool. Yeah, pretty much what Carl said, but also like we are pretty used to practicing without Jake because he's very rarely fully here. So uh, yeah, uh, it's just another day at the office, to be honest. Uh, yeah, bring on, bring on the Malta. I've done this with every single team I've interviewed, so go one by one. Who do you, f which position do you think you'll take in this event? Do you want to hear Alemao or my alter ego Slim Shady? Go for it. Okay, so, I mean, we're going to win, of course. But uh, maybe if you ask Alemao, we could get the Shaya BDS because they were doing Vault Review yesterday at 2am, so I don't know. Yeah, first. You can answer first. I think we'll get top 4, so that's like an equal thing from SI, you know, top 4, good. Top 4 about that. Top 4 is pretty good. I think that's I think that's a very humble response, Benja, but I, bl I think top 6 is good for me. Like top 6, top six at Malta would be a great result in my opinion. Now at Ad Malta you have some easier teams, you have some more difficult teams. What would be like your worst case scenario? I can't believe we're playing this team kind of matchup. Or are you just comfortable with every every single challenge? To be honest, uh, I think every team uh, has an equal uh, difficulty to play against, you know, because everyone plays a different play style nowadays. But I think the... I, I cannot believe we're playing against the... Uh, wait, I, I actually forgot the team I was going to talk about. But it, it's some tier 2 team, I don't know. So I'm going to try to name every player on 86. So first, first we have Tucano, because I met him yesterday. And he told me he was playing for for uh, this team, Team 86. And the others is uh, Jigsaw. No? He plays for Fnatic. Starflex. <laughs> Stoflex. That's the BDS coach. Okay, it's BDS coach. I mean, they, they, they're all French, so I don't know. Upor. Upor. Yeah. Yep. No, he plays Upor. for Secret. Maniac. That's our manager. <laughs> old manager. That's our old manager. Wait. Did you say Tuka? Tuka? Tuka. 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 Frag. 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 I don't know the fifth one. Wait, Frag is the YouTuber. And the fifth monkey, right? No, it's not. Robbie, 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 Robbie. 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 It's not Grubby. Okay, final question. Just before the event, you do have a brand new manager for the team. Have you managed to drive him insane yet? And what exactly... <laughs> what When he joined, you know, what were his like first reactions when he kind of sees how you guys play, how you guys function? And are you getting along well, basically? I think uh, he got very surprised by our sense of humor, because it can go really far sometimes. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Team 86 guy just came out. He has a t-shirt with two pack on the front of it. Matrix attack. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Matrix attack. I'm not Matrix attack. What? I mean, the, the, new manager, what? the new manager came also with new rules, so he didn't allow us to go to the club yesterday. So 
I think it's gonna be a new, different year for us. Hopefully, we're gonna lift some trophies. Yeah, basically, basically, Benja, Benja kicked our old manager Luca because he was too unprofessional uh, and made us go to the club a lot. Like he forced us to go to the club. So Benja, Benja was chosen to choose a new manager, and you chose uh, Valentin. You chose, you chose Valentin, Bufflex. Uh, and yeah, so Benja and Bufflex are starting the new G2 uh, regime. Dynasty. Yeah, the new regime. So it's under, under control, under control here. <laughs> and that's it for this interview. It probably went the most off rails of any interview so far. Of course, to be expected from G2, but stay tuned for more content from us from Cyber Series.